Medtronic co-founder Earl Bakken turned his love of tinkering with electronics into the world's foremost medical device maker. He passed away over the weekend at the age of 94. Bakken's fascination with the original Frankenstein movie kindled his interest, and it would eventually lead to his development of the world's first cardiac pacemaker. As Bill Hudson explains, employees and patients are singing his praise. What began in a garage along this northeast Minneapolis block changed medicine forever. He was a pioneer and a visionary in a lot of ways. Earl Bakken was just a kid when he saw the original Frankenstein movie, setting the stage for what he'd devote his life to. He snuck into the Heights Theater in Columbia Heights and was really inspired by the concept of electricity within a human body being fundamental to life. At 25, Bakken co-founded Medtronic, repairing medical equipment. In the vault of this Minneapolis museum sits a microwave-sized plug-in pacemaker. Yeah, but it was his work with Dr. Lillehei at the University of Minnesota that really put him on the map. He'd create the world's first battery-powered cardiac pacemaker. Through the years, they got smaller, implantable, and today, barely the size of a pill. At his core, Earl was an engineer, and he believed in the value of what technology could do and what technology could do for humans. Medtronic today is the largest medical device firm making products to alleviate pain, restore health, and extend life. So that's a rallying mission for people, and then the notion of what technology can do to deliver on that, uh, that has guided us for the, for the 60 plus years that we've been alive. For 40 of those, Earl Bakken was at the helm, building his company into a world leader. To make devices and provide services that are going to help restore people to full active, productive, better, uh, better lives. So at Medtronic headquarters, lowered flags are signs of sadness, but there's also a celebration. You see it as a simple yellow rose laid at the bust in the museum preserving his genius. Bill Hudson, WCCO, 4 News. Bakken died at his home in Hawaii. That is where he has spent the past two decades giving away millions of dollars to a variety of charities.